napapagod na akong magpakabait. Napapagod na akong magsabi ng totoo kasi yung mga sinungaling yumayaman. Napapagod na akong palaging tapat kasi yung mga magnanakaw successful. Napapagod na ako kasi palagi na lang akong mabuti pero wala naman akong napapalang pagpapala. Gumagawa ako ng mabuti pero ang pakiramdam ko, mas binebless ng Diyos yung mga lapastangan sa Kanya. Bakit ganon? We cannot live our lives without the responsibility of making choices. In fact, to be given many choices is also a sign of freedom. Because if you have no choice, then you are not free to choose anymore because there is only one option. Some choices are simple. For example, you can choose between Coke and Pepsi or McDonald's or Jollibee. Or sometimes the choice can be bigger than that. You can choose to live in Metro Manila or Dagupan or Ilocos. You can choose to migrate. You can choose to go to the Middle East. It can be as big as that. You can also choose to study, to take up engineering or to take up business. You can also choose to get married or to stay single. All of these are choices. Some are more important than the others. But there is a choice that is most important of all. And what is that? God has chosen us and we have chosen Him. But no matter what the choice is, whether choice between a drink or a burger or a college course or a spouse or a home to live, the reality, my dear brothers and sisters, is every choice demands many renunciations. For example, you marry your spouse, only one, but you have to say no to many other girls. You take up a college course and only one, but you have to say no to other careers. You decide to go to church in the Gupan, but you have to say no to going to Manawag or Manila Cathedral or Cebu. In other words, for every choice that we make, there is a corresponding renunciation. And you cannot be faithful to your choice if you are not willing to renounce. You cannot be faithful to your wife or to your husband if you are not willing to reject other boyfriends or girlfriends. You cannot be faithful to your country if you are a traitor and you want to make deals with other countries who are inimical to this country. You cannot make a choice for life and yet choose abortion and guns. Whenever we make a choice, every choice means many more renunciations. And the choice becomes lesser and lesser if we do not like to renounce. And it is the same with our lives. I want to follow the Lord, but I like steak on Good Friday. I want to follow the Lord in simplicity, but a warm bed at night, like sleeping in a hotel, is nice. I want to follow the Lord and obey the commandments, but an online live stream mass is easier to follow than traveling to the church. All of these. I want to be a priest. I want to be a nun. I want to get married. And yet, I have a crush. And uh, I cannot control my feelings. I want to give myself to the Lord. And yet, 
there are so many things that I still need to do. In other words, my dear brothers and sisters, choice and renunciation always go together. You cannot say yes and yet not be courageous enough to say no. There lies holiness. You want to be holy? Be able to say yes. You want to be holy? Be able to say no to everything that is inconsistent with your yes. But the gospel is quite clear. There comes a point in our lives when we can get confused. Napapagod na akong magpakabait. Napapagod na akong magsabi ng totoo kasi yung mga sinungaling yumayaman. Napapagod na akong palaging tapat kasi yung mga magnanakaw successful. Napapagod na ako kasi palagi na lang ako mabuti pero wala naman ako napapalang pagpapala. Gumagawa ako ng mabuti pero ang pakiramdam ko mas bine-bless ng Diyos yung mga lapastangan sa Kanya. Bakit ganon? Eh di gumawa na rin ako ng masamang katulad nila baka swertihin pa ako. We all want to be good but we are tempted by the attraction of sin. And then what happens? And then you understand that willpower is not enough to say yes. And then you understand that willpower is not enough to say no. And then you understand you need the grace of God to be able to say yes all the time. And you need the grace of God to be able to renounce sin all the time. Gusto kong magbago, pero nakakatamad. Gusto kong magsabi ng totoo, pero baka makulong ako. Gusto kong magtapat, pero baka mapalo ako ng nanay ko. Gusto kong magsikap, pero hindi naman ako umaasenso. And then, my dear brothers and sisters, we start to understand it is not your willpower that will make you successful. It is not your willpower that will make you holy. It is your total openness to the grace of God that will make you holy. Three words for today. Give in. Say yes. Give it up by saying no. But when giving up and giving in become difficult, remember the third G, the grace of God. And it is the grace of God that will help you to give in to the Lord. It is the grace of God that will help you to give up on sins.